So what we're gonna do is we're going to be installing Jelly Bean Android 4.1 CM10 Preview on the ASUS Transformer Prime. I will have a direct link to this in the description of this video. We're gonna scroll down here and find the CM10 Preview right here by Raymond. Thank you Raymond for making this possible and whoever else is involved in this. I am going to be doing a video on this. I got a little bit scared yesterday and about halfway through it stopped. <laughs> Oh man, just a little bit scared to do that. Anyways, click on this. Scroll down here until you see TF201. And then I'm going to save it to the desktop. If you don't have down them all, you can press save and okay. But I prefer down them all because it's a very fast download manager in my honest opinion. Five. Six. Oh, they're using a very fast host, which is... Developer, Clockwork Mod, Downloads. And it's done and it is on the desktop. And right here it also goes over what works and what doesn't. GPS, light sensor is funky. And then I'm going to go ahead and download this. Whatever. And then wait for this to finish. So we have the ROM right here, and then we have the Google add-ons, which you're going to need to have the Google Play Store. All right, now we're going to plug in the Transformer Prime, and then go to My Computer, and you'll see it right here. Internal Storage. If you're going to be doing this manually, I recommend putting it in the root directory. If you're going to be using Goo Manager like I am, I recommend going to your Goo Manager folder, which I don't have just yet because I haven't downloaded anything. All right, all I simply did was download some Google add-ons for ice cream sandwich, and Goo Manager should pop up here shortly. Oh, whatever. I was trying to do that. Anyways, all right, now we're going to open up the Transformer Prime again, whenever it decides to show up. Now show up. Thank you. Hopefully, we see Goo Manager. Ha! It just had to be rebooted for the folder to show up when I plugged it into my computer. Awesome. Now we need to copy this and this to this folder right here. Again, if you don't want an automated install where you don't have to touch a darn thing and you can just come back to your tablet a few minutes later and everything's done and ready to go, then you can transfer it to your root directory and then do it manually. I do have a video on how to install an update.zip manually and it's in my Transformer Prime playlist and you'll find a link to that in the description. I just much prefer this easy automated method where you can set all the update.zips that you want up to 10 of them I think and it'll do each one right after the other and then 10-15 minutes later you come back and your Transformer Prime is fully booted up. Okay, well, whatever. I just unplug it. And then I'll switch to my camera. Three, two, one. Alrighty. So, if you're doing it manually, you'll just hold volume down and power. And you can just do it right now if you wanted to. And just keep holding it until you saw an enter RCK mode or something like that. And then just press volume up and it'll take it in recovery. And you can factory reset your current ROM, install update.zip, choose the CM10 preview, wait for it to finish, then choose the Google add-ons, wait for that to finish, then reboot the system. Or you can do it the easy preferred way and use Goo Manager, which is available in the Google Play Store. And on the computer, we transferred everything over to the Goo Manager folder. So when we go to Flash ROMs, we'll see, well, this will be the first thing that pops up. You'll need to have Twerp Recovery. I already have one installed. Or no, we'll go ahead and press try to find one for me. And then you can keep pressing yes, or you can go here and press menu, install Open Script Recovery, Choose yes, and then choose yes again. I have this recovery installed right now, so I'm not going to press yes. Pressing yes will download this file, and then it'll automatically reboot, install it, and then reboot you back to system. Like I said, I already have it installed, so I'm going to flash ROMs. I already have one installed. I'm going to choose the CM10 and the Google add-ons. I only downloaded this one, so that way it would create the Goo Manager directory on the internal SD card. Order flash selected. Make sure you see the ROM on top. If you don't and it's like that, just move this one down and you want to make sure that the ROM is first because it's going to flash these in order and we're going to wipe and I created a backup just the other day so I'm not worried about it but you would press it and then you would name it whatever you want to name it and that would be the name of your backup and you'd press OK. I don't want it to create a backup because like I said I already have one and then factory reset and then just press front la 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 just press flash and then yes and then now it's just a simple matter of waiting 
Everything else from here on out is just going to be automated. You can literally go play you some Modern Warfare 3 on Xbox Live on the new maps, terminal, and etc. Or you can play Halo Reach, or you can do whatever you want to do, and then come back, and this will be fully booted up to Jelly Bean. This is going to take a little while, especially if you make a backup. If you make a backup, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, you're going to be doing this for a little while. I backed up all my apps with the Tinia backup pretty recently, so that should be okay. Just make sure that when you're restoring stuff, you only restore apps and not system data. If you install system data, you're going to be stuck in a reboot, and it's going to be not fun at all, because you're going to have to do a factory reset and go through this whole process all over again. Except you're going to have to do it manually the long way, because you won't be able to boot in the system and tell it to do all these commands. Copying files. Plus, when you go from like gingerbread to ICS, some stuff doesn't work. Like, if you can restore the app, but some of the data just does simply doesn't work. So, I don't know if that's the case when you go from ICS to Jelly Bean, but I guess I'll find out. I'm actually going to play with this ROM for a good few days, and I will be back anywhere from Saturday to Tuesday with my full review. It is a lot of people's opinion that a review is when you've had time to play with it, you know the insides and outs of a ROM, you know how good the battery life is, you know all there is to know about it. It's like a first look, if anything. Alright, they have the CM9 CID SID thing. Uh, if you check out JG and Root's video installing CM10 on the SGS3, I agree with his opinion. If they kept that right there and just changed it to like a 10, that would be great. CM10 is based off of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, and CM9 is based off of Android 4.0 ICS. There was never a CM8 because that would have been based on Honeycomb, and Honeycomb was never open source. To me, in my honest opinion, Honeycomb was kind of like Windows Vista, the middle child. <laughs> oh man. I should have mentioned before, you'll want to make sure you have a pretty good battery while doing this. You don't want to do this on like a dead battery. You don't want the install process finishing halfway and then stopping. That would not be good at all. That's why that NV flash thing is going to be pretty freaking sweet because if you do permanently break your tablet, you can still recover it. I'm going to look into that. I'm just a little bit scared. Call me chicken. I don't care. And since some of you and since for some of you this will be your first time installing a ROM, I'm going to go ahead and say that the first boot always takes the longest. So don't worry, this wait time, which I'm going to skip through of course, you won't have to experience it every single time. Alright, see, I think this is one of the things where they talked about the brightness or something being a little bit off. Alright, so Wi-Fi obviously works. Do you have a Google account? Yes, I do. So everything on this keyboard seems to work. My password is pretty complicated with characters, numbers, and letters, and capitalization. <laughs> I don't always get it right the first try. Sweet. Can I turn the brightness up? No. Can I take a screenshot? No. Maybe just not yet. Alright, so now that's done. Accept that. If you don't want to, don't do it. Yeah, that's different. This is my very first time installing CM10. Where is Central Time? Next. Setup complete. Awesome, that's different. It's a like green. I said okay. Huh, that's pretty cool. Google Play Music. You've got pretty much no bloatware at all, just your normal Goo Manager apps. The only thing I'm gonna change is get rid of that stupid ROM manager and replace it with Goo Manager. I'll do a video on why I prefer it. Apollo is the new Cyanogen Mod music app. Google Now isn't gonna work at first. You've gotta go to the settings right here and download offline speak recognition. It's already installed, sweet. But there's all the languages. So we'll do something real quick, we'll do, how tall is Obama? Hmm. We'll do, how tall is the Empire State Building? Empire State Building is 1,454 feet tall. What will the weather be like next week? Here's the forecast for independence. How old is Eminem? M&M is 39 years old. Who is the greatest rapper alive? <laughs> Do 
What is Eminem's real name? Eminem's real name is Marshall Bruce Mathers III. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I may not be the first person showing you this on the Transformer Prime, but I'm one of the first, that's for sure. Oh, let's do something real quick. What would Josh do? Dang it. I need to freaking copyright that. If anything, this is really just a first look at Cyanogen Mod 10. I'm going to press the screenshot button. No screenshot. Brightness button doesn't do anything. The trackpad works. Can I disable it? No, not yet. Can I lock the screen? I can lock the screen from the keyboard. And you get this neat thing. And going up takes you to Google Now. Next. 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 Awesome. Eh, 93 clear. That's cool. Alright, so we'll try that again. Lock it. Unlock it. And go to Google Now. And then you can just press this. How old is Obama? Barack Obama is 50 years old. Who will be the next president? Canon 60D. Am I going to die today? Who is Marshall Mathers? This video is almost over with. I'm going to show you the about real quick. Settings. Go down here to about tablet. Android 4. Point one point one on the Asus Transformer Prime. I do many other videos on this tablet. If you expand the description of this video, you'll see a playlist that has all of my Transformer Prime videos. I have videos on how to unlock it, how to install custom recovery, how to root it, how to connect your Transformer Prime to an Ethernet cable. I have all sorts of videos on this, the Evo 4 GLTE, the Sprint Galaxy Nexus, and future devices. I'm interested in getting the Transformer Infinity and the Nexus 7. The only thing stopping me from getting that and the SGS3 is funds. I simply can't afford each and every new device that comes out. I don't make a lot of money and I don't beg people for donations. And this is definitely not a review. You can't do a review seconds after you just installed the ROM. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see a full review of this ROM, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. I will reply to your comment as soon as I possibly can. If you comment while I'm asleep, you can bet first thing in the morning or when I wake up to use the restroom or something, I'm running into my computer and I'm seeing what all comments are on my video and I'm replying to all the ones that need replied to. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out. Please subscribe if you haven't already.